One thing that stands out about what I know about your work is you used to be a trollerman or a, and worked on, on the arts as well. And one thing that I think comes across in in uh, quite a few of your pieces is uh, sea salt is not not actually ingrained into it, but it's the, the inspiration is ingrained deep into your work. It, it, it is. Um, I, I grew up in uh, coastal Ireland on the south coast of Ireland, so you know before in my infancy, but you know we were yeah. surrounded by the sea. It's a it's a it's a coastal nation. Um, I studied fine art, painting, uh, sculpture after school. Um, finished that uh, 20, 21 years of age. Um, that would have been the last great recession in Ireland at the end of the 80s. And um, it, uh, I, it, I ended up uh, working on fishing boats. So I started from the, from the deck up, became a captain in 96. Spent another two years uh, working on trawlers in Ireland, the west coast of Ireland, up off Scotland. And then got myself down to uh, sunnier climbs in the Mediterranean and worked in the yacht business for two, two and a half years in various aspects of it. Got to know the, the yacht business through that and at that time, you know, sort of 10 years away from being hands on with design and all that, that's where I, I wanted to go back to. It sort of it got the salt out of my blood sort of thing. And um, the, uh, you know, the, the, the possible business opportunities and market opportunities that the, the yacht industry uh, could present became apparent to me. So we built it and started the, the studio as it is now in 2000, 2001. And you know it's been an organic growth path since then. We've had the Celtic Tiger in Ireland. We were heavily, heavily involved with the, uh, we'd say, the building industry, fitting out hotels, etc. Became involved at that time with a structural glazing company, which is, is is sort of relevant also to this story because it gives me a good background in engineering, understanding engineering. So it allows me to take the sort of the fine art bespoke design pieces and bring them to a larger scale, which is where the company is, is pushing things. So you know, while we have these here, here we got sort of smaller objects we have done and are doing currently sort of much larger projects in scale so we can bring the engineering into that and of course then the as you as you, you mentioned the aesthetic it's you know even if i tried i couldn't lose the, you know that marine sort of background and, and why would i